the Iranian elections for uh, the next president of Iran is now underway. We know that out of all the various absurd candidates that have been uh, nominated, that have nominated themselves, six have been approved by the Guardian Councils and the Supreme Spiritual Leader Khamenei. I mean, it's very interesting. Um, 1,600, I think, 32, 34 people registered. Mm -hmm. But they're not. People just registering doesn't mean anything. You're not allowed to stand to to uh, be elected as president on the, the Islamic regime of Iran. You have to be approved by the Guardian Council. And this is a Guardian Council who actually you know, it's a very limited number of mullahs who do decide who can stand for mm -hmm. uh, election. And this is the absurdity of any meaningful choice that people could have under the Islamic regime. Yeah. I mean, the reality is it shouldn't be called an election, you know, just because, you know, it, it's really a farce. It's a show because, first of all, only those who are approved can even run. So you've got a situation where even Ahmadinejad, that was Khamenei's candidate in the past, is not allowed to run. So even some of the criminals of the regime aren't allowed to run. And the ones who are allowed are really, you know, their hands are drenched in blood. I mean, you've got someone like Qalibov, who was the head of the Iranian uh, Revolutionary Guards. You've got Raisi, who was part of the death commission in the 80s that massacred loads of political prisoners. You know, it's just one murderer after another, those are the ones who are allowed to run. Yeah, it's absurd. And, 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 this is, and this is it. So at any one time you'll see people, um, a very limited um, echelon of power in Iran, very limited group of people in between themselves to put a few people to to choose. And actually by doing this, by creating an environment as if people are going to register, as if this is important, they give a, an impression that people have the right to participate. Yes. And that impression corrupts the meaning of mm. anything, any uh, right of people to, to choose. And that's what the Islamists do in every aspect. You, yeah. you look at human rights. For example, as soon as you start talking about human rights, you say, no, hold on, there's no such thing as human rights. They want to create something called Islamic human rights, mm. which it corrupts the idea. Freedom. Then you don't have the uh, freedom the to... The right to dress. It becomes yeah. the right to veil. I Absolutely. mean, it's constant. Everything yeah. the Islamists yeah. corrupt everything yeah. and I think that's what the nature of religion in power is and that's why we insist that all institutions, civil institutions where it decides the life of people should be separate from from religion and you could see the result of that. Yeah and, and, and also I mean you know the issue of people being able to vote for a president you know in conditions which is really a dictatorship it's a totalitarian state where you know only those who abide by the system, accept the Islamic system, who are upstanding righteous men are allowed to run, women aren't allowed to run, religious minorities aren't allowed to run, dissidents and atheists and political opponents aren't. You know, you, you're talking about elections within a, a framework where there's no free press, there's no freedom of association and expression. It is a farce, it's a circus. And, you know, to think that um, this is considered by some, uh, you know, commentators as look at how, you know, free it is and how democratic it is. There are 1,600 candidates, you know, yeah, as you yeah. said, it's just a show uh, to make it seem as if it's, it means yeah. anything, but it doesn't. And I think there are people, some people who may be advocating to participate, but I think there might, there might be some benefit between Racy who's As of to vote, you mean? To, to, yeah, yeah. To, sorry, to, uh, to vote in the election and yeah. participate. Yeah. Uh, because they say there, may, there might be different, there might be a difference between Rouhani and race. In reality, mm. we've seen time and again, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The Islamic regime is carries on and carries on and carries on. Mm. So that you know, to talk about participating and, and even voting. discussing, yeah. discussing the slightest change in the life of people in Iran or change in the establishment. In Iran, it's impossible. It's impossible. So it gets to a point... Under this system, it's absolutely, impossible. Absolutely, under yeah. this system. And it gets to a point that you've got to say, look, no, everybody's got to say, 
no, this is wrong, fundamentally wrong, and do not participate. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of issues too. I mean, there's, there's, you know, there's always this distinction made between the conservatives and the reformist function, factions. And the reality is, if you look at, for example, the rule of Rouhani or Khatem before that, who were considered reformists, first of all, they were approved by the conservatives and the supreme spiritual leader. And they've all played an important role in maintaining the Islamic regime. And, you know, human rights violations and all the rules, uh, Islamic rules, continue. Nothing, Nothing's nothing changed. changed. No. So reform is also a farce because reform usually has real meaning. Yes, and that's, uh, that's, the, other, yeah. th that's the other concept which has been corrupted under the yeah. Islamic yeah. The, regime. The idea of, but also the idea that, you know, when you vote for such a system, do you not play a role in legitimizing it as well? And is it an important? you know to vote for your oppressor is the biggest tragedy and and you know honestly it's a real tragedy that yeah. people would vote for such a situation and, and, a and lot of people don't though yeah, of course, of course but, uh, quite a lot of people yeah. don't but those people who do they then they have to be responsible and take responsibility for the consequences they have to take responsibility for the consequences of the Islamic regime of Iran that's why we advocate that this you know it's impossible to change anything within the Islamic regime of Iran so that's why we're advocating complete boycott of the elections in Iran.